what is Kalman syndrome? It's a genetic disorder which can affect both females and males, characterized by hypogonadism and presents with delayed pubertal development and anosmia. In both females and males during puberty, pulsatile secretion of GnRH from the hypothalamus increases to stimulate the anterior pituitary to release more of FSH and LH, and this stimulates the ovaries in the females to secrete more of estrogen, later progesterone, in the males the testes to secrete more of testosterone. These gonadal steroids guide pubertal development. Estrogen in the females is responsible for breast development, endometrial proliferation and menses. Testosterone in the males is responsible for testicular and penile growth, uh, pubic hair uh, development, facial hair, deepening of voice. Pubic hair in the females are dependent on adrenal gland androgen secretions. Both these hormones, they are responsible for the initiation of growth spurt, but ultimately they lead to closure of epiphysis, thus limiting the final adult height. In Kalman syndrome, there is deficiency of GnRH secretion from the hypothalamus. Embryologically, GnRH and olfactory neurons develop in the region of the olfactory placode from where they migrate to the final location of the hypothalamus. Various modes of inheritance have been described. In the classical X-linked recessive form, there is mutation in call gene encoding for a protein anosmin 1. Mutations like these leads to deficiency of transport proteins and therefore the migration of these neurons is not possible, leading to congenital deficiency of GnRH secreting neurons and olfactory neurons as well. This leads to decreased GnRH production during puberty, which leads to decreased FSH and LH secretion. In females, there is lack of follicular growth and decreased estrogen, no ovulation, therefore decreased progesterone and decreased testosterone in the males, a condition that we call as hypogonadotropic hypogonadism. Deficiency of olfactory neurons leads to anosmia or hypoxmia. Hypogonadism leads to delayed sexual maturity in both. In females, we see absence of breast development and menses. Pubic hair develop because of adrenal gland androgens. In males, we see underdeveloped testes and penis. Pubic hair, although present, can be scanty. Deepening of voice won't be there. There is decreased facial hair. The muscle mass is also decreased. The growth spurt is there because of growth hormone and insulin-like growth factor, but deficiency of gonadal steroids ultimately leads to failure of epiphyseal closure and individuals are tall with long legs and long arms. In males, spermatogenesis is affected. They have low sperm counts. So both males and females will eventually have infertility later on in life. Long-term deficiency of gonadal steroids in both sexes will eventually uh, predispose them to osteoporosis or osteopenia. The management of delayed puberty in these individuals involves hormone replacement therapy to induce pubertal changes. Often, uh, this is continued lifelong. In females, it's in the form of estrogen and progesterone therapy. HCG injections can be given to males to stimulate Leydig cell testosterone production or directly exogenous testosterone can be given. Treatment of infertility is possible in some cases by exogenous gonadotropins or pulsatile GnRH administration. So, Kalman syndrome, to summarize, is a hypogonadotropic hypogonadism with delayed pubertal development and loss or decreased sense of smell. There is decreased FSH and LH, decreased gonadal steroids, decreased estrogen in females, and decreased testosterone in males.